Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I thought we'd take a look at Urban Armor Gear. Urban Armor Gear got some publicity when they sent their iPhone to space and filmed it falling back to Earth where it withstood speeds of up to 70 miles per hour, and when it actually finally landed on Earth, it actually kept the phone really nicely protected. So let's take a look at what we've got. This comes in at about $35. And I've used this before, but I wanted to show you how it came packaged. It comes with the screen protector here, the plastic type, not a glass one. And then what you've got is this case itself. Now, it looks like a pretty typical case, but it has a very protective impact-resistant core, or an armor shell and an impact-resistant soft core, as they state it. And it's really, really light. So the nice thing is it really doesn't add a whole lot of bulk or weight to your phone. It's got really soft rubber edges here these pieces right here you can see I can flex these a little bit they flex and it moves around really easily as far as that goes but the center is kind of a hard plastic core right here now let's place the phone into it and you can see it just kind of fits around the edge and adheres tightly and then what we have is actually looks really nice in the white iPhone or on the white iPhone. You can see it's got this black rim, obviously, and then this back white plastic impact resistant cover. So it's got a nice cutout for your camera and flash. And then on the side, you have access to your power buttons. And one of the things I noticed with this case that I liked is when you push the buttons, you still feel a good solid click coming back from the iPhone itself. Same with the volume buttons, and you can easily reach the vibrate switch here or silent switch. So if you push this up and down, you'll still feel that nice click that you get from an iPhone without a case on it. So that's one thing I definitely appreciate. The one bad thing I've seen about it is in the back here. This may bother some people, not so much myself, but uh, other people it may bother. You've got the Apple logo under here that's not really exposed. You just see some of the mirroring effect. And then down here, you've got some of the words of iPhone or P-H-O-N really is what you can see parts of and that's about it. However, for most people, I don't think that that's really going to be much of an issue, but as far as the phone itself goes, it really doesn't add a whole lot of bulk. It definitely protects the back and keeps it from scratching and gives you some lay on the table protection with this lip right here, so you can just lay it down and you won't have to worry about scratching the screen. Now, it is a little bit slippery and will slide around a little bit. You can see if I slide it on this table here. It slides around a little, but it does have some rubber feet to help you prevent that. So this piece right here is really the only slippery piece. It's this, this piece up here is a little more rubbery, so you don't have to worry about that so much. But it does give good access to the screen. Obviously, you're not going to feel the, the rounded corners, which is unfortunate, but you really won't get that with any case that I've seen. Not even the Apple cases let you do that. But overall, it's a pretty nice case, and it comes in a couple different colors. And aside from this case, they also have a bunch of different other cases. And it's not just for the 6, it's for the 6 Plus, uh, for the Galaxy S6, all sorts of different things. So be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's urbanarmorgear.com. And if you haven't checked them out, you definitely should if you're looking for a good, pretty solid heavy duty case that doesn't add a whole lot of bulk. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.